Today's video is all about relationships, and I'm going to give you the relationship advice you need to survive in this world. A lot of you have been sending me things on Twitter, asking me questions, sending me your problems, tell me what's up in your relationship or your not relationship that you want to be a relationship. So here I am to answer your questions, get ready, sit back, relax, and I'll give you the advice that you need. All right. The first question is, what's some good ways to get over someone after a long relationship? Here's some easy steps I've compiled for you so that you can assure your problem is fixed. Step one, why do you want to move on? Think about that for a second. Step two, now that you've realized you don't want to move on, you can proceed to step three. Step three, call them. Didn't answer? Call them again. Still not answering? We'll call once more. Keep doing this and make sure you're leaving them voicemails. Long, dramatic, maybe even cry. Those kind of voicemails. Now continue this until they take you back or until their voicemail box is full. Step four, text them. Now you can be texting them in between calling them or you can text them after their voicemail box is full. You could text them before, during, after, it doesn't matter, just text them. Long detailed text messages about how much you miss them and how your life sucks without them and how all you can see for your future is the two of you together and your children happy, having a picnic in the park and little Johnny's rock climbing and you're watching from a distance and then Johnny falls off the rocks and he hits his head and you have to rush him to the hospital together and Johnny dies but it brings you closer. How can I attract normal, attractive men and less ugly creepers? Well, first you're going to have to lower your standards because the world is full of ugly creepers. And next, well, there are a lot of things you can do to attract men. Um, you know, a lot of magazines and websites say to flutter your eyes. So say you're out in a club, perhaps you're at a restaurant, and you make eye contact with this great looking man or not so great looking man, as we discussed a few seconds prior to this. You make eye contact and just flutter your eyes like so. Maybe giggle while you're doing it so he thinks you're cute like this. <laughs> just like that. It's bound to get him. But if that's not working, flip your hair, twist your hair, just play with your hair. Guys like hair. And if that's not working well, you probably have bigger problems that need to be dealt with and I just can't help you there. How does one start this relationship you speak of? Ah, so you found the girl or the guy that you want to be with forever and you just don't know how to take that next step into a serious, committed relationship? Well, that's why Facebook exists. All you have to do is go into your Facebook settings. Now they've made it a little more difficult recently, but it's super easy still. And you find your relationship status, change it from single to in a relationship. Now, not only can you change your status from single to in a relationship, but you can actually select the person that you want to be in a relationship with. So you click in a relationship, with and then just type in their name and boom, it's done. You're theirs forever. That's how it works. That's pretty much the entire point of Facebook. That and making your life seem a whole lot cooler than it actually is to people that you never talk to anymore. All the girls at my school think I stalk them. I don't, I'm just bad at communicating with other humans. How do I solve this? First, stop calling other humans, other humans. Second, you just really need to perfect your stalking skills. Obviously, you aren't that good at it if people are starting to notice. 
Okay, if you're hiding behind a bush, perhaps you should find a bigger bush. Hiding up in trees works really, really well. Make sure that if you want to spy on someone in class, you're sitting in the back of class. If you're sitting in front of them, it's pretty obvious when you turn around, okay? Now, if you want to let someone borrow a pencil or a pen, make sure they give it back to you and you can sniff it afterwards so that you have their scent. And then it's a little bit easier to follow them around the hallways and the cafeteria, follow them home, find their house, go into their house. I'm sure their back door is unlocked. A lot of people leave the back door to their house unlocked, at least the gate. You can at least get in their backyard and that's one step closer to them. I'm sure you can find a way on the roof. There's a lot of ways into people's houses and so just go there, find them. Maybe right before they go to bed, just like sit on their bed and, and, and do the eye thing I talked about earlier and when they walk in, yeah, They'll be surprised for a second, but then if you're doing the eye fluttering thing, well, they really just won't be able to resist you. Again, you obviously need to perfect your stalking skills. If people notice you stalking them, you're not doing a very good job. <laughs> Duh. Do I need to be mature to be in a relationship? No, you don't need to be mature at all to be in a relationship. That's why a lot of people are currently in relationships. I want to stop being creepy and ask my crush out on a date. I want to go from stealing her nail clippings to stealing her heart. My girlfriend thinks I'm ugly. What do I do? Well, ask your girlfriend why she's with you if she thinks you're so ugly, and then whatever her answer is, let that boost your self-esteem for a minute. And then break up with her. Is it wrong to like someone because of their accent? Not at all. Keith Urban, um, he's got an accent. Thank you so much for trusting me enough to send in your relationship questions and I hope that I answered them for you. Well, I guess I did answer them for you, but uh, I hope it helped. And until next time, have a fabulous, fabulous week. Make sure you follow my advice. Let me know how it worked, because I know it'll work. And I'll see you on Monday.